Good evening. A key contractor for the Victoria Square redevelopment has gone bust, leaving a trail of debt with just months to go until completion. The Adelaide City Council was today ducking for cover as we asked whether the project is now in limbo and whether their tight deadlines were to blame. Landscapers worked around the clock to complete stage one of Victoria Square in time for the tour down under last month. But many still haven't been paid and aren't likely to be, with landscaping company Harris Noonan now in the hands of liquidators. $1.7 million in debt. They worked for extraordinary conditions on that job, heat into the mid 40s. Uh, they worked a lot of overtime, they worked weekends to get this project finished and this is the thanks they get. Harris Noonan has told Nine News that it was under unrealistic pressure to complete the project in time and that's partly to blame for its financial woes. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in overtime owed to subcontractors on that project alone and the jobs of 22 employees at the company in limbo. No Another disastrous collapse for workers in the construction industry. From time to time, of course, there are companies that, that get into difficulty, but we're giving them the work, and uh, that's a great thing. Nine News understands the head contractors of the project, Fulton Hogan, are now responsible for paying the outstanding wages. But Fulton Hogan and their customers, the Adelaide City Council, are wiping their hands of any responsibility both refusing to go on camera or answer written questions about whether workers were put under undue pressure to complete tight deadlines. In a statement, Fulton Hogan says it has no outstanding payments to Harris Noonan and has always paid the company on time. The construction union says workers will have no choice but to line up for federal entitlements. This just isn't good enough. Taxpayers having to bail out private companies that can't manage their finances. And Kim Robertson joins us now live from Victoria Square. Kim, what does this mean for the redevelopment? Well, Kate, stage two of this $110 million project is still far from being completed. We're still waiting for the reinstallation of the State Heritage listed fountain, which is in the hands of contractors. And despite there being at least four weeks left of paving to be done here, the council insists that the loss of its landscape contractor won't jeopardise the May deadline of this project. Now, late today, creditors were handed this summary of assets and liabilities of the company some are owed up to $190,000. So no doubt the creditors will be eagerly awaiting a creditors meeting scheduled for two weeks time.